So anyway, I just uh, finished my cleaning my workspace, and then um, I might consider what should I build next. And I think um, there is something about not a jet, because I made a jet uh, seven last year, and the two years ago I made a nine, one over thirty-two jet. So I made so much 132 May uh, kit. Uh, so I just feel a little bit get bored with that. And last year I made one helicopter that was AH-1, I think Cobra. That was a pretty success to me, but I'm not uh, so much satisfied. I should do some more in next time. So what I think is I choose, I might choose UA-72 Lakota from Revo. Uh, that was quite new, brand new kit. And I just bought it uh, two months ago. And uh, I think it might be come good, uh, good idea to build a helicopter because I, I don't I don't used to make so much helicopter before and uh, I don't feel to make a jet again and in addition I'm going to join the Shizuoka hobby show in this year uh, this is open in May and I join my scale model craft and it has a tamer uh, they asked me to build something about reconnaissance things. I mean, um, it's aircraft, of course, it's aircraft, of course, but um, it has a reconnaissance mission. And that gives me a little bit uh, confusing because 1 over 32 scale, it doesn't have so much reconnaissance aircraft, right? So, I have not so much choice to build it, unfortunately. So, I might think uh, I should make 1 over 48, but uh, I prefer to make 1 over 32, because I like 1 over 32 scale. 1 over 32 scale is very, very fixed to me, I think. And uh, I can easily have more expression into it. And by the way, uh, it has a still more time till May, so I just uh, do the other kit to to my fun. And anyway, I just started to making a model uh, nearly 10 years. I've been I've been making a scale model uh, just for 10 years, I think. Before that, I was an uh, airsoft player. I used to go outside and play the BB guns and, you know, running and shooting and, uh, it has a fun, it has a fun. And when I was 20 to 30, I go, oh, I go the field to play the uh, airsoft game twice in a week. When I turn to 30, I just, I, I just get tired with that, because I'm not so young anymore. And I thought that time I should do something other. And then um, I just start building a scale model since then. And some people ask me that, uh, 10 years is not so long time, isn't it? It's very short time. But I may as soon as possible, and a lot of people uh, got uh, very good expression, very good uh, impression uh, from my, from my uh, models. And uh, in my Facebook, there are a lot of my friends, and they ask me to uh show 
how do I make the models? And what did I do? Or what material did I use? What paint should, uh, should, uh, what paint, uh, sh uh, do I have a skill? And so on. And they have, uh, it has, uh, some request of that. They really want me to show something about, uh, the scenery of making, uh, models. So I decided to introduce myself, uh, how did I make it? Some people, uh, might think it doesn't necessary because uh, they are expert they are they have a uh, enough skill better than me but some people um, that are very interested in my uh, buildings and paintings uh, they they really want to know they they, they want to see so uh, for me teaching or tearing or making a tips or something like that uh, it's like um, it's not my style I just make just I want just I want it's a no reason and no purpose and no skills and even in experience I don't have so much experience in just little 10 years so it has a limit to tell you uh, what I uh, what I did what I use so, uh, sorry for that anyway, but I could, uh, I can tell you uh, as much as I can uh, if I have a time. So please stay tuned and enjoy my video. And by the way, uh, when I was uh, 19 years old, uh, before, after I finished the high school, I went to Australia. I went to Australia for three years and I study at Canberra first year and then I turned to go to uh, Melbourne in second year and I joined to study at uh, Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology and I learned a little bit of exterior design or something like that and I finished and I graduated I just going back to Japan and uh, fortunately, I don't have so much time to speak my English in Japan. So my English is uh, quite messy, quite horrible. So some people cannot understand what I'm saying. So, but um, I'm really trying to say that. So please listen to this. And, um, and here is a place to store my um, kit because my kit my uh, my airplane is so big it's a 1 over 32 I cannot put on my workspace so I just set a uh, extra space for um, just put uh, put it on and it, it has a uh, quite huge and I can also put in a box or some other uh, uh, piece of stuff. Um, it helps me very easy to um, reset, to to change the paintings or put the parts on or uh, some sort of things. And then that is the painting space, and I put the airbrush here. And it turns is a it turns by the electric things. Uh, yeah, there. And then air duct is comes from opposite of um, painting booth to outside. When I open the window, the dirty air is uh, comes out. And then look down, as you can see, this is the paint space, paint, um, all the stuffs are keeping there. So many painting colors. And back to the main workspace, uh, you can see a lot of, uh, 
tools up there but um, it seems to have you, 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 you can't see you can't see very special tools on there because I use the very simple tools it's like you know um, uh, I, I don't know how can I say that but anyway you can understand what there what is there scissors or cutters and uh, knives and uh, and so on and in additional things uh, what I put in here stored here is some sort of materials which is like uh, uh, sandpaper glue and putty or um, you cannot see that but um, it's a decal on it or some other um, extra issues here uh, like glue it's quite old and a tape or something I need to build for my airplane anyway and this dirty things is the the graph when I uh, when I painting I don't touch by myself uh, directly so I just wear the glove to protect from the hand sweat and as you see uh, um, by the way uh, if I if I introduce what I'm using to my scale model um, something that you can't get it is just uh, you know something like um, s some country some country uh, you cannot get to uh, this kind of painting painting colors it, which is lacquer some country some country cannot use lacquer some country use just can just only can use uh, acrylic and enamel only but in Japan we can use lacquer and alcohol uh, and lac uh, enamel so three type of uh, color painting color I can use it so some part you cannot get it and some other stuff is like um, this is <laughs> this one is purely made in Japan and I'm not sure if you are interested in and if you want it I'm not sure you can buy it in your country so uh, don't feel don't feel um, I, I don't want you um, how do I say um, I don't want you to disappoint because you cannot get it in, in, in your country but you can get quite similar tools in your country and which is very important to see yourself to, to discover what tools uh, suitable for you this is very important things that uh, tools is not for everyone um, there is no tools for everyone I mean if the one guy uh, used to very very like to use the one particular tools other guys is not suitable for it some some people cannot you know get get into used to it oh this is rubbish or something like that but other people say oh this is very nice you should use it but the others cannot use it the tools tend to see that kind of um, problem so if I introduce this is very good tools uh, it might not good for you so I just I just see you what I'm using but uh, I, I, I I don't want you to force to use it uh, it, it doesn't matter where you're using what are you using uh, it, which is uh, it it causes a good result it's just okay 
and uh, this is all the stuffs I choose it is just on my way so um, you you may have a better way to discover yourself anyway and I just order the new kit but uh, this is January and uh, some shops are still closed and it, it it will have a little bit uh take a time to get get it so i just wait to i just have to wait so uh i i just consider uh whether i should make a helicopter or not but not a jet <laughs> anyway not a jet maybe next time and uh if you wondering uh, how do you get lights your skills up, uh, I might tell you uh, when I just start making uh, models, I have the same question about that. How do I make a model so nice? And you know, I I, I want to make a model uh, so realistic or something like that uh, when I just started. And I go to the shopkeeper, which is the scale model. Uh, I, ju I, I ask him to, how do I make it more better? How do I make it more faster to get, di get ditched to the uh, more skillful uh, level? And he said, uh, he just said three things. The one thing, um, you should make a kit, uh, you should make a scale model um, anyhow and any means uh, necessary um, you should complete it whether is that bad uh, you know bad result or good result or difficult or easy small or big and so on uh, it doesn't matter you just complete it. If you uh, completed the kit one by one, uh, you um, you have experience to complete. You have a satisfaction to complete. If you have many satisfaction to complete it, you just feel you got a skill. So once you uh, once you start the buildings, you shouldn't stop until keeping uh, until complete. And after complete, uh, you make a model again and again and again. That's the way to get reached to the high level, he said. It's as unusual. And the second, the second is very interesting. You should make a big model. Which means the big scale model including a small things. Uh, I heard some good word from the movie. I think it's a Prometheus. Uh, s big things have small beginnings. And in Japanese, we have the same very similar meaning to say. Um, the big includes small things. If you have a big kit, it just it, it, of course you 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 have to concentrate into the small tiny. Uh, painting or buildings. So once you get a big scale, um, you can also get a nice level to build a tiny uh, construction or very very thin uh, painting, very accurate painting. Anyway, uh, you should make a big model anyway. That's a way to get reached of the high level. He said anyway. Uh, I I am not sure about that, but but but, but he said anyway. And the third, um, I forgot the third. I uh, I I remember that uh, he just said, "Don't do not compare with uh, other one. If you compare with other one, with uh, to 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 your models, you get disappointed." Oh, you know, they 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 build a good model better than me or something like that, and you you got uh, you just got a you just got a feel miserable uh, feeling. It, it, you don't need to do that. 
It's just uh, you do, just you do. It's no no others. Uh, it doesn't have any interruption from other, uh, you know, uh, idea, other uh, suggestions, other, you know, you don't care about it. You shouldn't care about it. You just do what you want to do. Do not compare with it anyway. That three things makes you better models to make a better models I think and I, I, I when I just heard that uh, these kind of three things are very not special it's very common it's as usual and you know it's nothing special things but if you are faced to build a modeling um, that is very difficult to com uh, continue to believe that um, you, you sometimes I, I I I just get I just want to get rid of the big scales. Oh, that, you know, it's a simply exhausted to make it things uh, because of the size. You know, I I have to build I have, I have to paint uh, many part and wasting uh, a lot of colors and uh, no place to you know no place to decorate or something like that. So display is also um, has a problem once I finish to build the kit uh, my, my my aircraft uh, there is not so much place to uh, display and sometimes uh, I think someday I should uh, sell it to someone if you want to buy my kit my my aircraft please tell me anyway <laughs> I, I can sell you because I think more than 20 or 25 aircraft of 1 over 32, you know, so big. I cannot stare, I, can, I, I can't store so much. And, um, but, but the big scale gives you a better skill, which is not so easy way, but you should get used to into it. Uh, I mean, it, 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 you don't have to, but uh, you should try it. Uh, that's why um, I have some, you know, I shouldn't say by myself, but um, I've got a little bit of a uh, nice skill to to build uh, scale models uh, within 10 years. Before that, I don't have so much knowledge of the airplane, I don't have so much knowledge of the paintings. I don't have so idea of you know what material is suitable for you know to to uh, build it. But uh, in in these ten years, I just keeping the three things, and it helps me uh, better uh, skills. It helps me to get uh, better skills. And um, people are very impressed by the big scales, I believe. And um, if you have a time to to exhibition, and you decorate, you display, you go your model to display to see, to uh, to show the people. Uh, people are very very impressed about that because of the size. Oh, just the big scales, you know. Uh, you you're gonna be a, a nice star <laughs> in, 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 in exhibitions and um, uh, I did that I did that so anyway maybe uh, I should finish this uh, maybe next time uh, I am build I will be uh, building time so uh, sorry for my poor English. Uh, you might not understand what I'm saying, but uh, see you then. Next. Bye. <laughs>